Hi there, in this video I'm going to set myself an alphabet challenge. We're still in lockdown in England and so that means we're prohibited from traveling very far. So as a result, I've got to stay within my local area and really be creative about my ideas for taking pictures. So what I thought I'd do today is set myself a challenge to do an alphabet themed photo shoot. So what that means is I'm going to go around the local area and look for images that either contain the shape of a letter or begin with a letter. Now I am going to limit myself to not actually taking pictures of signage or actual lettering because I think that's just too easy. So it'll be interesting and as you can see behind me it's slightly foggy so we could get some interesting images. And what's more important to just go out and enjoy your photography. What I've done is I've put the alphabet into my phone so I can keep track of which letters are found and so you can keep track as well. I'll put the alphabet up here. So this is a really good project for anybody to do even if there's not a lockdown going on. It really trains your eye to look for things you wouldn't normally spot and be creative about your thought processes. And so before I even walk out of the drive I've spotted an X here in the bars of the gate, so there is my first shot. Already fairly early on into the challenge, I'm starting to realise it's going to be quite difficult trying to find patterns, especially in nature, that correspond to letters in the alphabet. But if you use your imagination, then these trees just here in the background, I'm going to call my W. Now this is not really part of the project, but I thought I'd put it in anyway, because it just goes to show what you spot when you're walking around, taking your time, looking really carefully. I've lived in this village for over 15 years and I've never spotted this behind me. There's an old tree stump um, attached to a telegraph pole. Now at some point, obviously, the tree must have been growing up and endangering the telegraph pole. So it's been cut down, but a little bit of the tree that's been attached to the telegraph pole has been left. I didn't realise how difficult this would be when I started this morning. It's really pushing me to look very carefully to try and find images that match a letter. Um, I'm not finding it easy at all. This really is a good project for honing your observational skills. It really makes you think very carefully. Um, having to look so hard to try and find um, shapes that resemble letters. Um, I found the end of this fence post here and I'm calling that an F. If you're enjoying this video, then don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell notifications and that way you'll stay up to date with all of my future content and it really helps out the channel. I've spent lots of time looking in hedges to try and find letter patterns and I've not really found anything obvious but if you use your imagination just here there is an M but you do have to use your imagination quite a lot.
just noticed that as I look down crossing this style that the crossbar here and the two steps form a H shape so I'll have this one for the list Just had a very slow walk through this wood here behind me and I've managed to find a few more patterns that resemble letters. It's a really, really good exercise this is in training your observational skills to make you slow down and look really, really carefully to spot things you wouldn't normally spot. I've been wandering around now for about four hours and I've ended up back at home. I've still got a few more letters to find, so I'm going to have a bite to eat first and then I'm going to come back out into the garden to see if I can find anything here back at home to finish off my challenge. That's it, I'm fed and watered now, I feel a lot better, a bit more energy to get going with the last part of the challenge and already I've seen down here a flower bed in a C shape, so that's another one off the list. Well that's it, that's all 26 letters found. I did manage to find the remaining few very quickly as I was looking around the back of the house. Now that might just be because I was being less fussy than I was this morning, or maybe it's just because we got loads of junk around the back of the house. But either way, I've managed to get all 26. That's been a really useful exercise this morning. It's forced me to slow down, think really carefully about what I'm taking, and I'll be able to use those techniques and skills when I get back out into the landscape again, once lockdown has ended, and it will help me to think a little bit more creatively about what I'm taking. I've noticed things this morning in the village that I have never noticed in the 15 years that I've lived here. So it really goes to show that if you walk around with your eyes open, you'll see loads of new things. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed that video. It's been something a little bit different than normal. Don't forget you can check out my Instagram. That's at the Oakden Photography. There you can see lots of my pictures and some that you won't see in videos. You can also message me there and down below in the comments. Also, go ahead and click like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That way you'll stay up to date with all of my future content. As always, watch out for next week's video. That goes live at four o'clock on Sunday. But all that's left now is to say, Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. 
You notice things you've never noticed before. Very useful when I get back out into the landscape again once a long about what I'm taking and now there's a horse coming past. And something whoa oh you one core. Boom! Got it at last. <laughs>